Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Alpha Protocol with me, Grey Hunter, and with Mikey. So I did a little bit off screen. <clears throat> I bought a few EMP chargers for use on computers, and I got. Oh no, I didn't get any mods. I thought I'd got some mods, but no. I did, however, get some Intel. And I forgot to show you the archived emails that we just got. So, we got one from Westridge, telling us that Nazari being let go was a good move. We got some info. And Mina saying, we appreciate your pleasantries. So that was nice. And we got some uh, intel. So we got a sniper rifle dead drop, but we don't really need it, I don't think. But I'm going to have it in there just in case we get spotted or something like that. And we've got a map of the airfield and some info regarding Al Samad. So, I'll have a look at that. Al Samad faction. There we go. Alright, so Al Samad info that we got was that the soldiers are generally loyal but not well trained, but elite soldiers wear red ski masks and they have better training and better weapons. I also got some info on Alpha Protocol, but and it's not really important right now. We'll find it out later, but we got some info about them, and we realized that their Latin motto is where no one can follow. Sounds a little bit up themselves. And then Halbeck is the, uh, the bad guys, pretty much. So... Let's roll out. Oh, and I'll show you what uh, the news report has to say as well. This is what happens if you let Nazri go. On a US base in Dahran has left several Marines dead. An early morning raid by members of an as of yet unidentified group killed 20 soldiers and left over 30 injured. US military sources say that the weapons used in the attack were more advanced than they are used to seeing and that they suspect the munitions were supplied by a major arms dealer. Yeah. So much for being heroic. Uh, let's go to the door. Hello. And we'll do Al Smart Airfield. So Mina will be our handler for this. And we've right now got constant encouragement, which gives us an endurance benefit of five. That'll go up. Because once you get one more point with her and become trusted, she likes you more, so she's more uh invested in keeping you alive. Which is nice. So we got an air we got a map of the airfield, which I already showed you got some information, already showed you, and a rifle, which we may or may not use because I can't remember where it is. So let's begin. Mike, I heard you let Nasri go. Yes. So we could track him, yes. Must have been a hard choice. Very. If you'd been able to snag him, you probably could have disrupted arms traffic in the region. At least for a while. That's not my mission. Getting Shahid is. Anything come up you need my help with? Sure. Let's talk about Alpha Protocol. So you've been with Alpha Protocol a while then. Not as long as Westridge, and not nearly as long as Parker. Parker's been here since the beginning, hasn't he? Shahid is probably the biggest one I've been involved in. What other assignments have you been on? I went undercover with Parker in Milan as a contractor for Halbeck. It's how Fun. I found out the missiles were gone in the first place. <sighs> Although it was too late to stop Shahid. The incident with the air... It's alright, we'll do it this time. Well, we'll catch him this time. He won't get another chance. I hope so. I feel like if we'd been a little quicker with analyzing the data... Don't beat yourself up over it. What's done is done. Let's focus on the next step. You're right. Yes, I am. in on him, and it shouldn't be much longer. Still, without a protocol, what I don't understand is why the United States would want to keep this operation secret. Don't they want Shahid captured? I think it's the missiles that are the problem. Helbeck's a substantial government contractor. The fact the missiles were involved mm, yeah. complicates things. Because the missiles are used by the U.S. military? I think the American public would understand if they were stolen. I don't know, Mikey. I don't think so. Yeah. And I think that's why the U.S. wants to keep this quiet. Alpha Protocol does a lot of operations like this. I don't know all of them, or all the names this program has had. It carries out missions without the knowledge of other U.S. agencies. Such as? Like what? The CIA? The CIA? The NSA? Most congressmen don't even have a clue this program exists. It's designed to prevent red tape. And if it's found out... It just gets buried and renamed. Very important. Renamed. Remember that. It's a beta or gamma protocol? No clue. 
Parker probably does. He's been here the longest. Whenever it's in danger of being exposed, it closes shop and a new one opens up. Interesting. I guess that's good to know. Maybe. I wonder if I'd get a new name if Alpha Protocol shut down. I don't know. Oh, Mikey, Mikey. You might get new names, new identities. Or fired. This seems like a big assignment for a new hire. There must have been other candidates. There were other candidates, including Darcy. But the recommendation was based on Parker, Westridge, and me. Although when I made my recommendation, it wasn't about Shahid. It was about the larger mission. So why me? Because I think when given you a don't choice, have daddy issues, Mike. You choose the people of a country over the heads of state. And that's not a choice many people here would make in the same circumstances. Especially Darcy. Especially Darcy. Huh. To be fair to Darcy, though, he has family issues that prevent him from going. Notably, his father. Yeah. According to your He's dossier, a senator. your family isn't an issue. Is that all I am to you? A dossier? Until you arrived at Alpha Protocol, you were. Not anymore. Well, that's nice. I think you're someone who does what's right. And that's what I'm counting on. So I've read up on you. <laughs> really? Yep. Thinking about a career as a stalker. Isn't nope. that what a handler is? Some truth to that. You used to be with the National Security Administration, right? Yes. But it didn't work out so well. I felt I wasn't doing much to make the world a safer place. So you signed on to Alpha Protocol? They contacted me, yes. And here I am. Talking to you now. Yay. Can you tell me anything about my mission here in Saudi? Probably nothing Westridge hasn't explained already. If you infiltrate the airfield Shahid uses, I may have more practical advice. Why is that? I'll be your handler for that mission. Goody. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. Let's be suave, Mike. Infiltrating an airfield. I've flown more times than I can count. <laughs> and how high is that? Counting the times I had to Zing. parachute out or not? Can you tell me anything about Shahid? Not much more than you'd find in his dossier. His personal fortune doubled in one year when gas was $4 a gallon. And he likes feeling safe when he travels. What do you mean, safe? While well, Al-Samad is mostly untrained civilians using Cold War guns, his personal bodyguards are well-trained. And judging from the missile used on the airliner, let's just say he makes sure they have cutting-edge tech. How nice. That's all I need. Thanks, Mina. You got it. Call me if you need anything else. Okay. So we're off to bug the airfield. After it loads, I will do a quick sound test. Okay, so I did my sound check, had to reload the uh, save. Oh, it didn't give me the uh, the info that she said. She didn't really say anything, she just said, uh, be careful, try not to alert everybody, because if you do, it makes your job harder. I was all like, yeah, thanks, that's helpful. So, let us go. This ladder looks interesting. There's a security gate cutting you off from the tower. Any way around it? Should be a terminal for the gate in one of the buildings. Aside from the panel and the gate itself, but... Walking right up to the gate will leave me exposed. Got it. I might be able to find a way over it. And apparently there's nobody in this open area. I think you'd be surprised. Well, that's handy. Ooh, goodies. Money and ammunition. Steel core rounds. Very handy. And we'll hack it. Uh, oh, hey, there we go. And hopefully we can get across to there in time. Done. Awesome. So that turned off the cameras. Oh, no, it didn't. It just opened the gate. I thought it turned off the cameras. But hey, we leveled up. So let's have a look at that. Now we can upgrade this. We don't want to do it the whole way though, we do want evasion, because we're likely to get spotted. But what we're going to do is we're going to put another rank of sabotage up, because it makes the hacking minigame easier, and I'm actually very, very shit at it. <laughs> so, let's see. Hmm. Eh, no, we'll hold on to those AP for now. But uh, yeah, we also got that extra perk for being nice to Mina. So now instead of a plus 5, it gives us a plus 15 to our endurance. Hooray! So, let's... Whoa. Go over here. See if there's anything cool. One, two... It's 
three, four. Nice and easy. More ammo. And another door. Oh right, there's a zip line here. This is very cool. But we might use these crates instead. Good jump. Probably a good plan, Mikey. Alright, let's see. Hello? Down you go. And down you go. Next up. Nice job. One less thing to worry about later. Yep. So yeah, this mission is very much a uh, way to... Ooh, yes, printed circuitry. This mission is very much a way to increase how Mina likes you. Can we equip this now? We can. Awesome. Printed circuitry basically makes hacking minigames even easier. And trust me, because of how bad my eyes are, I need all the help I can get from the game. So we made it in. That is excellent. And now we have to make it... Oh, hang on. We have to make it across to here. Let's see. I know there's some fellows in here. I don't know where they are, so let's try... Oh, there's one over there, so let's go in this way instead. Oh, hello. Punch. Where's your friend? Makes this easier. Clunk. More money. Always good. Okay, let's try doing this. Oh, hey. Wait. Yes, there we go. And where's the other one? God damn it. Yeah. It's probably really, really obvious to you guys sitting here watching it, but I can't see it. Oh. There we go. <laughs> What's that? Good job. You've shut down the hangar cameras. Mm, the ones Thank the you. Tower are on a different circuit, though. Oh dear. That's alright, though. We can make it through. So, let's head off this way. And up we go. Can't go that way. But we can go this way. Now, there's a few guys hanging out over here. There's two on the ground in patrol patterns and one fellow hanging out, out in a tower. But it's fairly easy to take them out if you do it right. Can we hang out behind here? We can. Excellent. Let's see if we can take this guy out when he's over by the truck as he walks around. Ooh. And there, evasion just saved Mikey. Now let's try and take him out when he's over here then. Eh, nah, he's too far. Yeah, we'll just take him out when he's on his patrol route. Sneak up behind him and whack him in the head. Alright, come on. And hopefully he should stay behind the truck. Mostly. We've still got awareness as well. I can't see where... Our ah, there he is. There's our friend. Hmm... No, it's not really time to use awareness yet, because we can see him, and the guy in the tower can't see us unless we walk in front of him, so... Let us begin to advance.
Hello there. And go around our friend in the tower. He's no threat to us, so we don't have to take him out. Alright. Ooh, there's two people in here. Okay, there's a guy over there. And there's this fellow here. Hmm. Now we'll have to wait. Take him out. So hopefully, because that guy's patrol route, the guy that we just saw, ended up over here, where the uh, center reticle is. Whoop. So hopefully we can shoot this guy and then move on. So let's line up our shot. Don't you turn around, or so help me God. Alright, we've got our critical lined up. Come on. Turn around, turn around, go. No, you stop moving. <laughs> Clunk. We'll go back for that money roll in a minute. Don't you haw. Alrighty. Oops. Okay. What is what? Alright, let's go this way. Because I don't want to accidentally get spotted by somebody. Reload. And open that door. Alright. Who's out here? There's a guy. Oop. Patrolling. And there's a guy on a machine gun. Let's see if we can take out the guy patrolling when he walks by. Flip. Oop. Whoa. Stay behind the camera. Okay, where's our friend? Oh, he's over there. Alright. Whoa. Let's see what's he doing. He's going back on a patrol route. And he's not looking our way. But just to be safe, I'm going to wait for him to turn around. Don't want to get spotted when we've made it through this far without being scene. Come on, turn around, you bastard. Plus, if we do get spotted, that machine gun guy will make our lives hell. Maybe he's not going to turn around. Well, that would be awkward. Oh no, there he goes. Right. Open the door, take a quick peek. Whoa! Oh damn it! Looks like we've got a stockpile of weapons here. Let me see if I can destroy these crates. Oh damn it, Mike! Ship down. Sure. All right, Mike. But the control tower comes first. Oops. God damn it! That guy just teleported in there. And now he's looking nonchalantly the other way. You bastard! So much for not getting spotted. Oh. Well. Them's the brakes. That's the last. Well done. Now for the tower. So people are probably aware of our presence. Oh. Surprisingly, no. Everyone's just sort of oblivious. But the dramatic music is still playing. Well, that's fine. Now I saw an item when we were coming in before. It looked interesting. I don't know where it is, though. Oh, must be on the other side. Guess we can't get it now. That's okay. Let's go around this way. We'll try not to use our med kit just yet, because we're doing okay. There's a man in a tower, and that tower has a zip line, which makes me a very happy camper. And nobody's looking our way, so we should be able to just go straight up. 
Damn, I'm bummed out about being spotted though. That's for not letting me co get through the level without being spotted game. Take that. Alright, zipline will take us past Machine Gun McGee. Whee! Let's get out of the way. Now you can go up there, but this is the easier way. One, two, three, four. I mean, it's control. the easier way. Look around for any computers. They may have flight records stored on them. Because there's these attention. two guys. This one is your trouble. But not if you take him down. Like a soul. Because now you can get behind that guy when he goes back on his patrol route. Like that. An explosive grenade. We probably won't have a reason to use that, but hey, it's in. might come in handy. Right, let's crack this safe. There we go. Five grand. Yes, thank you. Let's use that. Whoa. Don't want to get spotted by you, thank you very much. Please turn around. There we go. Now you might be wondering, why are you going down here, Grey Hunter? Well, because there's a bonus objective down here. Which you will see in a moment. Throat punch. And it's here. These are flight records. So, see. And see that one. Done, and I see you. Done. Transmitting the logs now. Why, thank you, Mr. Thornton. It seems you found the all some odd flight records. Can't wait to analyze these. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a bonus objective, and again, it got us another ex uh, point of reputation with Mina. So, we're now at 10 with friendship. And it helps that we cleared out the guys who were downstairs. Because now we don't have to worry about it. We can just go straight up. I do want to watch out for him. Because he's on a patrol route. And if he turns around and sees you, that is very bad. You have to take him out, but you prefer to do it on your own terms. Then because he turned around and spotted you. Like now. Good job, Mikey. And there's a convenient heal station, which is why I didn't use our first aid kit, because we got all our health back anyway. Now uh, we can get experience for picking that door, so let's do it. Why not? It's a nice easy mini game. And Fraps actually slows down that movement much more. And we got a perk for it. We got breaking and entering, which gives us what? What does it give us, Mikey? It gives us plus 100 experience. Some of these give you endurance bonuses and such. Some of them just give you a one-time bonus to your XP. Alrighty. So now we have to get up, and awareness is fully recharged, which is good. Because there is a fellow here. And he's one of the elite, so we will be killing him as opposed to simply choking him. Because he is a very, very bad man. Come on, turn around. I want to neck stab you. Come on. There you go. Stab. I got some money. And more money. 
Money is good. Alright, plant the bug. That's nice and easy. And where's the other one? Oh, right down the bottom. Super simple stuff. I'm strong, we're good. Now get out of there. Okay, okay. You don't actually have to get out, it just fades to black. So awesome! We got all of our objectives. We invaded enemies, we found hidden loot. Found enemy loot. Several weapon caches were found and destroyed. We lowered the munition supply for the terrorists. We killed some of the elite guards. Which is handy, and we retrieve flight records. Very good. Let's go back to the safe house, see if there's anything going on. Mike, I see you made it back all right. Indeed, I did. Nothing on the channel about any disturbances at the airfield. Well done. Good. Security was I thank a lot you. more than I was expecting. Forced me to be a little more cautious than normal. I noticed the security. It may be a good sign. It means the airfield is important to Al Samad. If this keeps up, we should be able to catch Shahid. And from there, recovering the missiles should be easy. I won't relax awesome. until we have them both secured. Can't afford to get careless now. Is the bug transmitting? Loud and clear, no problems. Parker's on it now, which is why I called. Looks like we have something. Shahid's coordinates and an ETA. How reliable is it? 90%. The information we got from Nasri helped. And the transmission we're getting from the airfield confirms it. It looks like this is it, Mike. Westridge will be with you on the comm, and I'll be monitoring in case things get... difficult. What about the Al Samad camp? Should I still check it out, or...? There's time. You may find something useful. Try not to get killed, though. Or else we'll have to find another agent. Yes, I'll be well. careful. I think it's important to be thorough. I don't want Shahid slipping away because of something I missed at the camp. You've got a point. Yes, I do. I for him to escape because we missed our window of opportunity. Goodbye, Mike. When Bye. You to Shahid, Westridge will contact you. All right. Thornton out. Swell. So, we bugged the Al Samad airfield. We got some more emails. We picked up some cool stuff. Awesome loot. And I think we'll call this episode to a close. So, I will end it here. And then in the next one, we will go to the detention camp. Because I like doing missions. And it actually has some information that's useful. Plus, Darcy. So, see you next time.